This is Amanda Bildwater and I sent yesterday email to Meet the Press and CNN with a couple of questions about why this thought reading and uh, connection with my information and and what going on the news, why they don't still meet, why this uh, imaginary broadcasting still, still continue. And uh, even I already had lawsuits against Turner Broadcasting. It has been there on one year already and looks like there is no interest to handle it. I s same time talking uh, and uh, discussing uh, with the anchor and, uh, and uh, directly with the CNN because I want to speed up. My housing problem is still the same. That has been a biggest problem a long time because I cannot work. Well, I can, but there's no people who want to hire me. And uh, it's been hire and pay uh, writing these emails and, and uh, books and, uh, and uh, websites is uh, some kind of job, but um, if there's no, nobody who pays because somebody steals uh, information from my brain, no, all broadcasters doing it, uh, I don't get any money. And that uh, long time mentioned, like my supervisor mentioned in 96, we want to put her down and then bring her up. Well, I'm still going down after 13 years. So that uh, reality people doesn't like to discuss is a reason I am looking for contact all the time. And I'm, I want to read a part of my letter, uh, what I wrote uh, July 25, 05, 2005, to White House Representative Bush. And when I was leaving to Finland and I faxed it the first time from Germany. After 10 years fighting with my problems and trying to keep my life as normal it can be anymore, it is just not happening. I have no chance to get a job, not start a business, not live peacefully alone or with friends. I have not get my answers, my questions, why things are now like they are, because no one is willing to discuss with me. I hope all problems can be sorted with a straight talk, face to face, not with the TV. And I want to be part of that, including Finland-related problems. I know you, everybody talk about me, but no one is willing to uh, say it to me. I do not need the trucks, cash, hospitals or jail for my knowledge. I am free to go and uh, do whatever I like. But I need love and friendly people who share problems with me. I earlier asked help from my friends, lawyers, police, doctors, GBI, FBI and, and the president. No one told what was the problem, only what I got was uh, drugs, what I do not need, and more problems. I'm not violent, I'm not to harm, uh, harm anyone, and I'm not trying to make problems here or in any other country. That letter has been written four years ago. My situation basically is the same, same questions are the same. Why you don't discuss about this? That is the because that fax was first time sent from Germany. They did see it. I'm sure they read it because they get it in a hotel and fax it to somebody. That same letter has been sent to White House and uh, that was the first contact to uh, White House in, a, in, a, in time when President Bush was in the power. And after that uh, I stayed in Finland and uh, created other type of uh, later what is called invoice because that first one didn't bring any results. Issues are still same because my job problems. These Atlanta area employers didn't be willing to discuss directly who is that and what is that, uh, why they're trying to get me out from every job. And uh, like I told earlier, I contacted the uh, White House when Clinton was in the power on an international related punishing system and what spread all kind of rumors and uh, I didn't know that time it's uh, they read my thoughts and, and include all dreams and imaginations and movies and, and everything what I see and feel and think and react.
why that kind of thing can happen so long time. I want uh, uh, me to press <coughs> NBC, MSNBC, and, and uh, CNN, and uh, any instance who handle these current issues understand uh, what the thought reading has done, because it's not just a reading. For me, the biggest damage was the feeding, because they play with me, they try to get me down. They get me so down, because they try to kill me, whoever they was. I couldn't work anymore. And that happened in 2003. And after that, I don't really have have a, a decent uh, full-time job. I did drive a truck, but it was a fight all the time. So I was a free person legally in this country. I had friends and I have a rented uh, house. I had a right to be there and still that happens. That is the problem, how it can be happen all the time. It cannot. And current problem, uh, I had to get the money for private housing because that current situation with the uh, Iranian uh, uh, friendship with uh, who owns that house that creates other type of international problem. How many times I had to say it? My disability is, uh, again, uh, uh, payments are again uh, in a delayed, delayed already many months, but that's just increased the problem. So I expect to get discussions, something what has results for me. If my situation improve everybody else get the better situation too. I'm alright. That's that's what is ninety nine percent. And that is the original letter about invoice.